Hey there guys, it's Psycho Red here, and this is just going to be another tutorial video on how to install GBA for iOS on on your iOS device on 9.3.2. And pretty much this software just came out yesterday. Everybody knows about that. There was a lot of good fix bug fixes in this, and this allowed you to use night shift mode and low power mode at the same time. So this is quite the update. And I'm going to be going over just the different, um, real quick, just some uh, fun facts about this, um, about this software, and we'll go ahead and get into it. So, uh, really, one just big main fact, or facts, or actually two big facts about it is the night shift and the uh, low power mode. But also, too, when you go under general, when you update, I have about like 4.8 gigs. I'm going to go ahead and update right now, and it it's been heard where you actually receive more memory. Let me go ahead and put in my passcode. And we'll hit agree. We'll hit agree one more time. Uh, now, before I uh, fast forward this, because this is gonna probably take a, a, a bit, um, don't update via, like how I'm doing right, you know, with this device, don't update via, uh, the software update within the actual iPad update via iTunes. Uh, and the reason why I say that is there may be a jailbreak within the next couple months, weeks, days, we don't really know. And um, it would be better if you updated your device via iTunes versus doing it through the software update just in case if there's any sort of bugs or any sort of problems. Um, so 9.3.2 is gonna be loading I'm gonna go ahead and actually this is going pretty fast. This is actually faster than yesterday. Yesterday was uh, yesterday was kind of a long, uh, a long wait for this. It was about a good 30 to 40 minutes just to update, but this is going pretty fast. So I'm gonna let this run, and I will be right back. Okay, so let's go into settings and we'll do the software update and 9.3.2, we are up to date. So we're good to go. Let's go under the about and we still have about 4.8 gigs available. Uh, not as much as a difference as my, uh, as my iPhone. My iPhone, I got about like, wow, about like two gigs. Uh, it might be just cache files, but it, it cleared a lot of my memory out, so uh, not too bad, I guess. Um, so anyways, let's go back into the tutorial. So we're gonna go into Safari, and we're gonna go to GBA for iOS app, and we're gonna go and hit the download button right here. We'll scroll down, and we'll go ahead and tap right there, and it'll ask for us to install GBA for iOS. We'll hit install. And what we're going to do is we're going to back out so we can go ahead and see the uh, the status that it's on right now. So we're going to let that run. And to my calculations, it shouldn't load completely. That little dial bar shouldn't go all the way. It should probably stop. Or it should go all the way. But we're going to tap it one more time just to be sure. There, are, there have been times where it does go all the way. And there are some times where it just like cuts halfway through and then it stop And then it just... Uh, says that it won't, you know, it can't download. Very cool. So we'll wait for that pop up. There's done. We'll click on that. And then we're going to go back into settings. We're going to go into date and time from general, date and time. And we're going to set automatically off. Talk, toggle that off. And we are going to go down a couple years. We're going to scroll back in time, back to 2011. And we'll go ahead and click on, whoops, we'll go ahead and click on the app one more time. There we go, let me focus for you guys there.
and there we go. We have GBA for iOS running on our iDevice. So we can't open up the application yet, so we do have to go back into settings. We're going to toggle the, uh, the set automatically back on, and we're going to go into general, and we're going to go to, uh, to profiles and device management. Excuse me. Let me actually focus this one more time. There we go. And it should be this China VDI one. We're going to go and select on that. And we're going to hit trust. We'll hit trust one more time again. And we should be good to go. We can't enter the app just yet. We actually do have to go back in time one more time. I feel like I'm a part of Legends of Tomorrow saying I'm, we're going back in time. All right. So we're going to scroll back to 2013. And we're going to launch the application. Awesome. So we're gonna hit OK, hit OK from there, and on this, if you notice, the game or the actual emulator runs perfect. So we're gonna go and search for games now. So we're gonna back out, and we're gonna set automatically back on one more time. We'll go back out, and from here, just so as a reminder. You can't get into the app through your main homepage. You have to actually have the app open when you're back in time. And then once you actually have the app open, so, you know, select the, uh, the time to be current, then double tap on the home button and you can still get back into the emulator that way. Okay, cool. So to search for ROMs, we're gonna tap on the magnifying button here and it brings us to Google. Best place to go to, uh, for me that's worked well, is free ROMs, or free ROM, I believe. Let's see here, we'll go under GBA ROMs here. And we'll do something very easy. download that fire red version it's like download one more time there we go did it load I don't believe so so we're gonna let's go back into free ROMs go to GBA ROMs Ah, direct download will appear in, in a couple seconds. So I was a little bit too hasty in getting it. So I think that's the first time I've seen that actually. Usually the direct download appears like right right then and there. It's pretty automatic. No, no big deal though. All right, there's the direct download. So we'll hit direct download. We'll hit download again. You can name the file however you want. We'll hit save. And right there, it will show the game loading. And there's the game. So we're gonna hit tap on that. And we have a game. Actually, let me turn on the sound here. So the, game, the actual emulator is running perfect. Let's try that fast forward action. I love skipping through all this. <laughs> So there you guys have it. Honestly, there I don't think there's anything more that I need to show you guys. Um, that's the GBA for iOS running on iOS 9.3.2. No problems here. It looks like everything is running smoothly. If you do have issues, I've seen um, where I've actually seen and I've been contacted by a couple of people who've had issues with their devices not being able to download the game. Um, Let's go ahead and show you guys what to do in that sort of a situation. So if you cannot download the game or download the actual emulator, go into settings. And then from settings here, we're going to scroll down till we see Safari here. Once you click on Safari, scroll all the way down and you'll see clear history and website data. 
that um, when you click on that and hit clear right after it will allow it should allow the emulator to run um, what I would do is after clearing everything hit clear go ahead and restart your device like normal and power it off power it back on and then once you um, have your device back on again try downloading the application one more time and will and it should eventually or not eventually but it should work and it should be able to download at that point so that's my little tutorial on this i hope you guys enjoyed it for all things apple plus this is psycho red signing off and i hope you guys have a good rest of your night guys enjoy the new emulator peace